Okay, ready? All right, good morning. Uh, welcome. Uh, my name is Greg Fenvis, president of the University of Texas. Uh, yesterday, Steve Patterson uh, resigned as men's athletic director here at the University of Texas. Uh, I accepted his resignation. Uh, it was a mutual decision. Uh, Steve is a talented uh, sports executive, uh, brought many good ideas to uh, UT Athletics and Texas Athletics, uh, and uh, he had a very positive impact on, on many aspects of the department and our programs. I wish Steve uh, the best in his future endeavors in business and in sports. I'm very grateful and feel the university is very fortunate uh, that on, on short notice, very short notice, uh, that Mike Perrin uh, has agreed to serve as the interim men's athletic director. Uh, let me say a few words about Mike and uh, then I know he wants to, wants to speak. Uh, Mike has sat in every seat at this university. He's been a student, uh, he's been an athlete, a letterman on Coach Royal's teams in the 1960s. Uh, he has two degrees from the university, undergraduate degree and a law degree. For over 30 years, uh, he has worked with the athletics department on a volunteer basis. He was the first letterman uh, to serve on the Women's Athletic Council. Great service to this university, while he has had an outstanding professional career as one of the most prominent attorneys in Texas. Uh, Mike has managed uh, two law firms. Uh, has dealt with complicated cases and litigation and everybody that I've talked with uh, that knows Mike says he has absolute integrity and confidence in uh, his ability to lead our great athletics department. I've gotten to know Mike in the uh, few years that I've been at the University of Texas and uh, that is my judgment too. He has complete integrity and impeccable judgment. UT Athletics is the front door to the University of Texas for so many people. Uh, the Longhorn Nation uh, looks to the university uh, often through uh, our athletics programs and it's a great asset and a great benefit uh, to this university. And our athletics program with an incredible tradition and history uh, reflects the values of the university. And one of those values is the student and the student athlete. Uh, our student athletes uh, who we recruit uh, to come to the campus to serve on our, uh, to uh, play on our intercollegiate teams, uh, perform on the field at the highest level, they train hard, they work together as a team. And they're also students uh, trying to achieve uh, academic success and we are very proud of the academic success of our students and the programs that support them. Uh, my goal as president for our Department of Athletics is to continue the historic tradition of Longhorn Athletics, of excellence and quality, uh, perseverance, and, and doing it the right way. And I know this department has done it, and I'm absolutely confident uh, that Mike Perrin, uh, in his interim role, will continue that strong tradition of supporting our student athletes and being the front door to the University of Longhorn Nation. Uh, please let me introduce uh, Mike Perrin as the Interim athletic, Men's Athletic Director at the University of Texas. Thank you very much, President Fenvis. I welcome the opportunity to serve with you and uh, uh, lead athletics forward uh, as, we, as we continue. I came to this campus uh, 50 years ago uh, drawn because of the electricity and excitement that I felt from watching Coach Darrell Royal and, and his team prepare for the Orange Bowl. I was here in December of 1964 for a practice and you could feel the electricity of the team and the coaches as they prepared for that game. Uh, it was a feeling I've never forgotten, I uh, hope I never do and I certainly haven't as of today. Uh, it, truly a, a great feeling that led me to come here and then to spend four years playing football for the University of Texas with the thrill of running on to Memorial Stadium, the stands full of cheering fans and uh, our support from the band and others. It was um, again something that became a part of me and uh, will always be. 
Uh, my leadership experience off the field in the 40 some odd years since then, uh, I think has prepared me to deal with this complex organization. I've uh, dealt in a highly regulated uh, field of litigation where uh, regular interpretation of statutes and other relevant legal standards uh, are important and certainly we want to maintain the integrity of this program uh, going forward. Uh, the, the student athlete, uh, the very concept of somebody uh, gaining their education, coming here at the age of 18, gaining an education and life experiences is integral to what the University of Texas and other leaders in intercollegiate athletics do. Uh, I stand firmly behind our coaches. I, I know Charlie Strong personally. Uh, I know Shaka Smart. I've visited with them before. In fact, we visited this morning, and I think we have an excellent staff of coaches across the panoply of sports and teams, men's and women's. I look forward so much to working with them. Uh, my first commitment is to these student athletes. We ask young people to come here. After reflection, they come. We're obligated to house them, feed them, educate them, provide equipment, and hopefully teach them better ways of practicing their sport, whatever it is, to the maximum extent of their abilities. But more than that, we try to teach them life values. Uh, I had some great experiences that didn't come from the classroom, it didn't come from uh, practice sessions, and didn't come from the field. They were dealing with budgeting time and meeting deadlines and being punctual and, and growing up in the sense that you have to do from high school through college. It was a tremendous experience. And uh, because of the way that we ask these students to come and uh, we do take that responsibility, that, that is the highest priority for me is, is the existing student athletes. And that's important because they come from a school or a system, a coaching staff. They, they have others they influence. And so the proper treatment of those that are here influences recruiting in the future, retention, and it's just integral to the validity and uh, uh, amateur status of our intercollegiate athletics. I've been concerned. I sat in the stands last week and saw uh, empty seats. Uh, I tell you, there's nothing greater than the field of uh, being on the competition field, being in the arena, and uh, fans, band members, uh, your, your, your peers supporting you. There's nothing like it. And it concerns me that uh, fans uh, last week voted with their feet. Uh, I intend to reach out to the entire Longhorn Nation. I have sat as a student. I have sat in the stands. I've been a donor. I've been actively involved. And, and I want to reach out to the Texas X's, uh, to the other alumni group, whether they be Letterman or others. I, I want to be a uh, source of interface with all aspects of the Longhorn Nation, because I want the fans there. Uh, these are changing times in intercollegiate athletics. Uh, a challenge to me is going to be uh, uh, keeping up with the change uh, and yet still being true to our great traditions here. Uh, the continuity on the one hand and the change on the other is something that I dedicate myself to. Uh, my wife and I have spent many years uh, in service to the University of Texas. Our children came here. Uh, I hope that uh, my grandchildren feel that way one of these days, but uh, this is a uh, position and a, and a time in my life where when President Finvis asked me if I was available on an interim basis, I readily agreed, uh, did so joyfully and hopefully, and uh, am very pleased to be here. I'm glad to answer any questions that uh, some of you may have, and uh, would throw the floor open to Mr. Suswine for that. Right, sure. Again, indicate if you, if you have a question you want to ask, and we'll start with uh, um, any, anyone from TV. Um, you, you talked about uh, you know you've you've done it all at this university. How how proud are you to take this? Uh, it's a very sensitive time right now to take this post. How much pride do you take into it? The uh, seriousness of the job I've been asked to do is uh, very important to me. Uh, to, to come here and wear the orange and white is a uh, uh, just a very valuable 
activity that I went through a long time ago and it stayed with me ever since. Uh, it is a thrill to be back, totally in a different role. Uh, I look forward to it. Uh, it. It's just hitting me at the right time in my life to come back and help a new administration under President Finvis uh, serve in this interim position. So I'm, I'm excited about it. I, I really am excited about it. It's a, a, a great time in my life to be given back. We've heard some indications of a specific timeline. Can you give us uh, any idea if you have a ballpark as to how long you anticipate acting as interim uh, athletic director? Uh, you know, interim is uh, at the pleasure of the president and uh, I would uh, hope to be here long enough to see uh, uh, whatever changes uh, would, would be appropriate under his administration. Uh, We've got a great group of student athletes. I've met with uh, the coaches and staff this morning. Uh, I'm so excited about the chance to meet some of the students uh, more closely and work with them. Uh, th there is no finer educational opportunity uh, for a student athlete in the country than at the University of Texas in Austin because not only do we have great coaches and great facilities, we have academic support, uh, a faculty that uh, has always been engaged and uh, I think the entire package is something that I'm glad to work with and try to advance uh, under the service of President Finvis. Thank you. Oh, Mike right here. Uh, you said you met with Charlie and Shaka, you know, two new coaches who would be very concerned when the person that hired them is no longer here. Um, what were their thoughts to you? Uh, what did they express to you and what did you tell them about you know, your support for them and their programs? Uh, I've got two different answers to that because uh, I, I did meet twice with uh, Coach Strong on other occasions. I was privileged to spend some time with him last year uh, when he was uh, just going through his first spring training and uh, we just hit it off. He's uh, a, a, the real thing in terms of uh, humanity, uh, d dedication to education, uh, devotion to his craft of taking young men and making them uh, in a better place. I'm just uh, so impressed with him uh, in that regard. And then had a chance again this spring to, to spend time with him again. He's uh, the kind of coach that players want to follow and play hard for. I think when you see the way the uh, team played last week, particularly the enthusiasm of uh, some of the special teams and the, and, the, and the big plays that we saw from special teams and, and freshmen, uh, that kind of enthusiasm is uh, infectious and it uh, uh, doesn't end just with the players. A coach has to foster that as well. And Charlie Strong is uh, enthusiastic, hardworking. Uh, I consider him a personal friend and, and I look forward to continuing to support him. I'm, I'm very strong about that as a former football player. Coach Smart, uh, it's uh, uh, one of those serendipitous things. My wife and I were driving to Houston the day that he had his press conference. Somebody called us and said, hey, the new coach is here today. And I did a left turn off of Interstate 10 and came to the press conference. So I met him first that day and have seen him several times since then when he's toured with uh, ex-students groups and things like that. Uh, if, if, if you don't get infectious about basketball with Shaka Smart, uh, your switch isn't turned on. He is, uh, he, he is uh, you, you watch the enthusiasm with which his teams play, uh, their conditioning, the tempo. Uh, he is something special. And uh, I wanted to reach out to him at the earliest opportunity and let him know, especially as a, as a new coach who hadn't even had his first year here, that I'm behind him 100% and I will remain so. Uh, you mentioned the, the attendance this weekend and kind of being a concern to you. By all accounts, there's been some damage done to the athletic department you know, internally and externally. How do you start to kind of mend those fences and, and, and make people feel better about it again? Uh, I think that part of what I can do uh, as uh, interim athletic director is uh, be a, uh, a source of uh, meeting with uh, fan bases, meeting with uh, ex-students groups, uh, uh, continuing to uh, 
support the program every way I can and perhaps putting a face on uh, some of the uh, fans uh, from across the state that aren't uh, always thinking about that. It, it is so important to the student athlete that they have a full house when they play. Uh, you draw energy on it. Uh, it. It promotes the atmosphere and again is not only important for that performance but for recruiting and retention going forward. And plus, let's think about the families of the players. Uh, you know, the, the mothers and the dads, the younger brothers, younger sisters, they like it when you've got the full atmosphere of uh, uh, the, the fan base being there, the fan base being engaged. Uh, it, it's, it, it's very important, very important, and I want to do whatever I can to foster that. And if that means traveling, I'm glad to do that. If it means uh, visiting with people one-on-one, -on -one, I'm glad to do that. Mike, a um, <clears throat> couple of uh, things are hanging in the balance. Obviously, the, the shoe deal, the exclusive negotiating window with Nike. Um, if you have any, are you going to be directly handling that? And the Joe Wickline lawsuit uh, with Oklahoma State, any thoughts on uh, whether the school or you, the athletic department, should be involved in settling that? Uh, let me a answer those separately. The uh, Nike contract, uh, of course, is uh, very, very important, uh, as any apparel contract would be. Uh, through my legal career, I've negotiated a lot of different kinds of contracts. But more importantly, we have uh, an excellent staff of people who have dealt with not only the wording of the contract, but the history of it as applied, as used, as it's functioned, and uh, with observations of, of other relationships between other suppliers and other universities. So that's one of those areas that uh, I'll be drawing heavily on, on staff experience and uh, the intercollegiate athletic experience with those companies. With regard to the Wickline lawsuit, uh, all I really know about that at present is what I've read in the paper. Uh, both sides appear to be represented by very competent counsel. Uh, I'll have to know more about that and really can't speculate. Uh, I know uh, as, as a lawyer, I don't always like somebody, you know, second guessing uh, maybe what I've done as a strategic or tactical approach. So uh, I'm going to have to defer to the lawyers handling that. Uh, it is my understanding that uh, it is not a, a departmental uh, matter. The, law, the, the, the university was not sued, as I understand the pleadings. Mike, Mike, some of the reasons your your predecessor received some criticism had to do with changes in ticket prices, an emphasis on going overseas, um, a variety of those kinds of issues. Can you undo any of that, or you kind of just press forward with what he started and make adjustments? You know, uh, I, I don't presently plan to undo uh, what is in place. We've got a season underway, we've got a school year underway, we've got things in place. I, I do think that uh, some of the uh, people that have spoken to me have uh, expressed a desire to revisit some of those issues. I assume that there were pro and con discussions not only on whether to do something but also on what to do and what degree or range of change might be made. So uh, uh, I know that's been a very controversial point with a lot of people. That concerns me when I'm wanting the stands to be full so I will need to look into that. Hey Mike, um, just over in your conversation with alumni and donors, how dire had, had things become over the last five, six months? And secondly, is there a scenario you, where you would want to or could take over full time as, as AD and drop the interim term? You know, uh, I'm not an English major, but the word interim to me is uh, <laughs> has a real meaning. So uh, uh, what, whatever President Finvis uh, attaches to that is, uh, is, uh, is my use of it as well. Uh, I do think that it is important for me to be proactive with uh, donors, with uh, fan groups, with uh, uh, our student athletes and their families and their, their high school coaches because of the reasons I mentioned earlier. Uh, I'm not placing any arbitrary limits on uh, where I will go or uh, you know what groups I'll speak to. I, I think that uh, t to adequately serve President Finvis and the University of Texas, I need to be active in working on some of those relationships from day one. I, I, I don't have a total feel for that. I've seen different numbers, and um, I, I just I'll need to know more of the, of the hard data on that. But it, it 
certainly it's symptomatic of, uh, of uh, some people losing their support. I read stories of so-and-so didn't re renew their tickets after years or whatever, and that concerns me because if you get that kind of erosion, it can begin to feed on itself. And I, I'm sorry I didn't cover the first part of that. Thank you for reminding me. Mike, uh, when were you first approached about taking this job, and would you be part of the search to find your successor? I was first approached uh, last week uh, on, on Labor Day. I was at home about to fire up the grill, and uh, my phone rang, <laughs> and I answered the phone, and it was uh, President Finvis. And he asked me if I would uh, consider talking to him about being a uh, part of uh, his uh, administration as an, possibly as an interim director of uh, men's intercollegiate athletics. Uh, we talked Sunday, and uh, obviously uh, there were other uh, things going on uh, with the, uh, between the administration and uh, Mr. Patterson, which I was not a part of at all. Uh, I, I'm here to serve at the president's pleasure. What that leads to is, is really beyond any knowledge or uh, indication that I have today. Mike, uh, we noticed the yes. We noticed the uh, illustrious Los Dodds is present today. Uh, did you speak with him about some of the challenges that you're going to be facing? I couldn't hear very well. Was the question? Did I speak to Delos Dodds about yes, sir. Uh I spoke to him briefly. Uh, after I had met with President Finvis, uh, DeLoss has been a, a personal friend of mine ever since he came here through uh, my involvement uh, as, a, as a donor and a, as a volunteer from time to time. And uh, he's someone whose counsel I will seek if he's available and uh, wishes to share it with me. I, I respect him very much. Yes, sir. Uh, I guess I have a question actually for both of y'all uh, along the kind of the same subject, which is uh, kind of the importance of the relationships you already have with the university community. You know, for President Finvez, how important was that in making him the right choice for this job? And how do you think that kind of will help you uh, sure. as you take over? That question. Sure. Uh, well, first of all, um, thank you for uh, reminding me that uh, uh, DeLoss Dodds is here today. Thank you, DeLoss, for, for being here and your tremendous service to, to the University of Texas and, and our great athletics department. It means, means a lot to me, and I know it means a, a lot to Mike. And I think uh, what uh, DeLoss uh, has done through his career is, is develop long-term relationships, and uh, that is very important to me. Uh, that is part of the, the culture here at the University of Texas. Uh, as uh, Mike talked about, his family is, is multi-generational uh, Longhorns and Longhorn fans. And it was a, a, an important factor in uh, me asking Mike to serve in this role. And I intend to follow up with uh, whatever groups uh, are, are appropriate to, to uh, capitalize on the relationships I have. I've already spoken to Leslie Cedar at uh, the Texas Exus and told her that I was available to speak to uh, various groups uh, there. Uh, I would anticipate setting up uh, an interview with uh, their publications consistent with their, their schedule. Uh, I'm not walking into this uh, as a stranger to the UT community. Uh, a number of us that uh, uh, played together under Coach Royal get together regularly. Uh, I know some of the younger uh, uh, alumni players that are out there, uh, certainly through the practice of law uh, and the UT law alumni. Uh, I generally know somebody in, in every town, every county, and uh, I've, I've made myself available uh, in that regard. I think that um, perhaps uh, some of us uh, of my vintage represent a unique opportunity to, to span what has been, but also look forward as uh, the sports changes, because uh, it is rep evolving so rapidly with the 24-7 uh, uh, coverage, the blogs, uh, uh, tweets. Uh, it, uh, one of my grandchildren told me, if I've heard about it, nobody uses it anymore. So <laughs> that may be where we are with electronic stuff. But to answer your question simply, I'm going to draw upon every uh, relationship I have to, to spread the, the flag. And in that regard, I've had the most heartwarming uh, flood of uh, texts, uh, emails, phone calls uh, from former teammates and classmates and uh, folks that I was either in school here with or competed against. Uh, it, it, it's just been, it's been heartwarming, and I intend to capitalize on those for the University of Texas benefit. 
President Fenves, you had mentioned that this was a mutual separation between the university uh, and the athletic director. Generally, there's some sort of disagreement when that happens. Mm -hmm. Where did you see the program going that was different from where Mr. Patterson saw the program going? Well, uh, when I became president, uh, it's hard to believe it was three months ago, uh, but uh, when I became president three months ago, um, started uh, talking with, uh, with Steve and we had, uh, we had uh, very good discussions and, uh, and, and a very good uh, working relationship. And uh, th uh, that continued uh, throughout the process, but um, we, you know, th I, I felt that there were certain things, especially uh, that I'd, I'd like to see and, and uh, he, he understood that and so, we recognized that it was uh, that we weren't uh, always uh, always in um, uh, in uh, seeing eye to eye, and it was a mutual decision. You know, I don't want to go into into too many specifics. Um, uh, I think what I've said earlier, uh, what's very important to me is is our relationships uh, with our fans, uh, with our season ticket holders. Uh, with the alumni, and they feel good uh, about coming to the University of Texas, feel good about following uh, Texas athletics. So, so that's what's important to me, and, uh, and I know that's what's important to Mike. For Pre President Fevis, he kind of answered the question, but was there anything that accelerated the decision over the last week if you contacted? Uh, there was nothing that precipitated it. Uh, there was nothing that accelerated it. Uh, this is for President sure. Fenvis. Okay. Um, the, some of the faculty have expressed discontent in recent months with the ticket price changes. Mm -hmm. and I was wondering what plan I'll have to change that and if that would go into effect this season or wait until next season. Yeah, I think uh, we're, uh, Mike is going to look at everything, in, including uh, the whole uh, ticketing pricing uh, mechanism. Uh, we're all, the season's already underway. Um, it's, uh, I would think in most cases it's, it's not possible uh, to make changes. Uh, uh, we have a, a huge operation. Uh, earlier this morning. I did talk with Coach Strong, um, uh, indicated to the coach my strong support for him. He is running a terrific program uh, with, uh, with young uh, student athletes uh, that uh, did a, gave a fantastic, had a fantastic game at Rice. Um, I did emphasize to the coach, uh, I'm especially interested in uh, defeating Cal this week as a Cal alumnus and a longtime faculty member. Uh, we both met with uh, the, uh, all the coaches and the executive staff, uh, and then an all-hands meeting in the athletic department, and our message is we're gonna keep going. And uh, this is a, a big operation, and we need to keep the operation going. So I don't anticipate uh, in the short term any, any major changes just because we are al already underway with, uh, with the current football season. President, oh, okay. Uh, Mike, I was just curious. Okay. You talked about uh, you wanted to be here long enough as interim AD to to see some changes made. I was just curious, as interim AD, have you been assured that you have the the authority that an AD would have to affect some of these changes? The President Finvis has not limited my authority uh, in that regard. Uh, if I understand your question uh, correctly, uh, he, he he doesn't have me on a short leash uh, other than that which is implied in interim. So uh, I'm going to look at uh, everything that I, I can and work with the experienced staff we've got and uh, proceed forward. Uh, as he said, the, you know the, the academic year has started. Football has started. Volleyball and soccer are ongoing. We have a, a full you're ahead of us, and uh, it's part of my job to keep things uh, moving, and uh, and I intend to do that. Thank you. Last question. Last question. President Fenves, have you, are you going to form a search committee, hire an outside search firm, and and also, I think somebody used the term damage has been done possibly. Um, would, would it be helpful to just kind of wait this out and you know take your time if needed? Well, my focus uh, today is a smooth and quick transition with, uh, with Mike as, as interim athletic director. We got that started today with uh, great meetings with the coaches and with the staff. Uh, I've not made any decision or any plans uh, uh, beyond getting, uh, getting through this transition uh, successfully, and I have every confidence uh, that we will. We had great meetings this morning uh, with the athletics department.
So thank you, every, uh, thank you everyone for your questions, uh, great questions, and I just want to come up here, have Mike come up here and thank him again, and we are going forward in Texas athletics. Hook em horns. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.